Hello everyone, my name is Daniele Daldos. I am a 3D artist and I work with Blender 3D. I would like to thank you for uh, all the compliments I received for my first tutorial. I was really embarrassed and uh, I really appreciate your help. Today I would like to show you how to use a technique I have been using for a very long time that allows you to light a scene using an HDR map and uh, using a background of a, of a different color. I have modeled this 3D object that's called uh, an alethiometer from a book I love, that's his dark material. And uh, the first thing that I suggest to do is to activate the Node Wrangler. That's an add-on that you can find in Edit, Preferences, and in add-on you need to type Node Wrangler and you need to activate the feature. Remember to save it because otherwise next time you turn on Blender basically you go back to the, to the point in which you don't have it uh, activated. As you can see I split the screen into two so you will see how I set up the nodes and uh, the 3D model itself. First thing first, you need to add an environment texture from the environment tab on the right. The background will become pink because you don't have any map um, selected. Then you select the map you want. I have four that I have downloaded from HDRI Evan. Uh, it's a very good website with a lot of HDR maps uh, that you can use to lit your, your scene. I'm gonna put the link anyway in the description. And uh, once you you put the map on, all you have to do then is selecting the environment node, press Ctrl T and add a mapping and a texture coordinates node. This because as you can see you can rotate the map, you can scale the map, you can squeeze and in this way you can affect the whole model uh, with whatever you want so basically if you want to lift the model from a different position without rotating the the mesh all you have to do is just using this map you can actually animate those parameters the other thing that you can do is test different maps uh, as you can see I am adding the maps pressing shift a and adding uh, an environment node you can actually drag the map in but the problem with that is um, you would drag an image texture and not a map so basically you wouldn't be able to lit your object with the HDRR as you can see I am connecting the environment node to the background node and in this way I can switch different maps in my 3D scene. In this environment, the, the big lamp will emit a lot of light. And uh, it's fairly realistic if you consider that it's a real-time render. I'm gonna add some different maps now to test different environments. You will notice that some map will be easier to use than others. I have my favorite map to be honest, that's a map of uh, Venice, the Venice sunset. You will also notice that maps that have a sun in them or a very strong light will act a lot better uh, in the realism of your scene. This purely depends on, on the fact that you need to adjust other, other parameters. For example, you can add lights in your scene. I usually add some color lights from three points. As you can see at the beginning of the video I have also added the final animation. Uh, the thing is I added also a very strong light from the background, very strong lamp from the background that creates a kind of a rim light. What I'm gonna do next is creating uh, another background node and I am gonna change the color of the background node. 
So what happens is that now, depending on the intensity of the color, the scene is gonna be lit from all the directions. This is not what I want because if I want to create a darker background, these may not work properly. As you can see, if I use a very dark blue, the object almost disappears. So what I want to achieve now is making sure that the object is gonna lit by the HDR image and the background, what the camera sees is another color. To do so, I'm gonna add a light path node and a mix shader. I am gonna connect the HDR uh, image node on the top part of the mix shader and uh, the is camera ray node from the light path on the factor. What does it mean? It means that depending on what your camera will see, refracted light or pure light, <laughs> the, the light emitted by your, your scene, depends on these. Is camera ray means that if the light is seen directly from the camera, you're gonna see one of the socket. If it's not, you're gonna see the other. So in this very case, you're gonna see the socket with the pure color if it's directly seen from the camera. Otherwise, you're gonna see the HDR image. If you try to connect different HDR images, you will notice that the light will change depending on, um, on what map you are using, but the background will not change. This may also take a little bit of uh, uh, of memory because it's in real time, yes. I already animated these, so I'm gonna just cut my scene and I'm gonna save it to show you the final result. This is a very simple technique, to be honest, and uh, you can actually set up in a file and then open that file as a, as a promo. Well, I hope that you learned something today and I hope that you will use this technique uh, in the future. I, I would like to see your work and I would like to, to hear your comments about uh, how I deliver my tutorials. As I said, I am new. And uh, yeah, if you have curiosities or uh, things that you would like to ask me, I, I would be happy to create tutorials specifically for you. I wish you a great day and uh, see you next week, bye!